The Research and Equity Scholarship Institute is currently working on the Ed Systems Project, which is funded by the National Science Foundation and focuses on science technology, engineering and mathematics, or STEM pathways, for students who began at community colleges and minority serving institutions. One part of the project that we are very excited about is highlighting the stories of about 50 students who have successfully navigated community college STEM pathways. Our interviews with STEM transfer students and alumni revealed powerful stories about their experiences within the STEM disciplines, including the gendered experiences of women in STEM. Their narratives detailed how they confronted gender stereotypes, a lack of representation of women, and specifically women of color in STEM. The way that gender is constructed in our society, I mean, usually as women are kind of told, like, don't be assertive, don't speak louder than anybody else, don't cause conflict, all these constant messages. My institution is white, heteronormative male, dominant, through and through. This country was founded on racism, you know, and structural racism is very real. Hearing uh, other women's stories, um, colleagues of mine, uh, other students there, they go through so much that I don't have to deal with being a male. I think things are changing. There's a lot of work that needs to be done though. I remember this one class fluid mechanics. It was like 120 people and it was only five women. This picture I took yesterday in my lecture. I counted 17 people and out of the 17, one of them was a girl. I don't think I've had any engineering professors. I've, I've had one. I've had one professor who was a woman and then yesterday our TA was a woman. <laughs> but uh, most of my engineering professors have been men. So, I mean, it's probably bad, but I'm just kind of used to it, so I don't really think anything of it. There's not that many women um, who are teaching um, engineering courses. Oftentimes, the women that we spoke to expressed how their professors and colleagues in STEM presumed that they were incompetent. They think that you don't know anything, and I'm just like, I'm in the same class, I kind of have a better grade than you, like, why are you, why do you think I don't know this? Or like, they'll try to explain everything to you, like, you ask them a simple question, super simple. They don't answer it, they go on into like a different rant, and think you don't know it, and I mean, mansplaining. Yeah, I was the only female in the field, and uh, it's just the way they would treat me was very different from my male co-workers, and... It seemed like they didn't expect a lot from me, and whenever I did something amazing, they would be like, oh wow, you can do this. And, I don't know, make me feel like I wasn't capable enough. And, and I didn't feel like I, I was growing, because they didn't expect anything from me. I was proud to be a Latina, women in engineering, and I didn't want someone to make me feel like I didn't deserve what I thought I'd do. But I think it made me work harder because I kind of wanted to prove myself that I'm just as smart as For many, negotiating their identities as women of color in STEM was complex. It's been really challenging. There's a lot of emotional labor of being like, um, you know, a queer woman who's also a person of color um, in the helping profession um, because these issues of, you know, um, different forms of uh, power, privilege, or oppression. Myself and others keep looking at, we keep, keep being looked at as like the teachers, or like, oh, like you are the exemplary, resilient students that made it here. How'd you do it? Being a Hispanic, and for me, like, that's kind of like second to being a woman in engineering, because I don't necessarily feel when I walk into a room, it's like, oh, you don't, I'm the only Hispanic here. But here, it's like I'm the like the only woman in this in this room, and it's hard. It was not until I went out to the workforce. Well, I, when I did my first internship, I was still studying, and that's when I was encountered like being in a field where it was just mostly males and white people, and it just felt overwhelming. I just had different. Just experiences. 
And some people would all sometimes be racist. Or they would be like, oh, you're an engineer and intern? Like, they wouldn't believe it. Just the way they would say it, it would be like, is it because I'm female or is it because I'm Latina? Or, I don't know. So it was hard. And it still is sometimes.